All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.15 p.m. in the evening on Monday, December 21st, 2020. And we are going to take a look at the earthquakes that hit around the country that are in our forecast areas. And we are going to start, let's see, with over here. All right, we're going to start right here with the, uh, the quake that hit near uh, Santiago, Chile. And that was a 4.3 earthquake. And if you look at our risk area, it was right down here near the 60% risk area. So a little bit out of our, our risk area, but uh, still in the 60% risk area. And then we had a bunch of quakes uh, in the northern part of Chile. These uh, four earthquakes here all up in uh, Antofagasta, uh, Chile. And those occurred up in here, up in this area here, the 90, 95% risk area. All these quakes hit up in that area. You can see they're all right around the uh, east of Antofagasta there. And here's our forecast map. So we're right in this 90, 85, 90% risk area here. All right. Now, this is a strange earthquake here. This one is a 4.9 earthquake hit east of Manila. And if you've been following our forecast, we had called for a quake east of Manila a couple days ago. Uh, but then the risk dropped and it hit a couple days after our warning. So um, usually it hits within our, our two day warning. This one is for the 18th and 19th and it occurred uh, two days after that. So strange earthquake east of Manila, it hit, but it hit a couple of days late. And here's a quake uh, down in uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands, 3.4 east of Puerto Rico, right here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. And if you looked at our forecast map, there it is. There's the Virgin Islands. And there's where it hit, right there in the 95% risk area. We were calling for something more significant. Well, this is a 3.4, and they're right in our bullseye, 95% risk area. Here's a quake uh, in the Sandpoint, Alaska. And if you look at our forecast area, it hit right down here in the moderate risk area. There wasn't much risk at all in Alaska, but where there was risk here, that's where the quake hit right there. And you can see right there, 4.7, and it occurred right in there in that area. All right. And now in Southern California, we had a, a 2.5 and a 4.0 earthquake, significant earthquake south of the Salton Sea today. And that was right here, south of the Salton Sea in our 90% risk area. I'll show you once more. There it is, there's Salton Sea right there, and there's the quake 4.0 and a 2.5 right there on the border in the 90% uh, risk area. So, also we had a 4.5 in southern Ecuador, just across the border there, southern Ecuador, and our risk was right here in southern Ecuador, 80% risk area there, and it occurred just across the border. So, very close to what we were talking about yesterday in that area. Now, we're going to go to our forecast, forecast maps for around the world. And we're going to start with uh, California. Let's see, that was a, another map there. We're going to start with uh, the California forecast map. And that's um, still high risk uh, for the rest of the evening into the night near the Salton Sea. Something still might happen uh, in uh, southeast of California down at the Salton Sea. Still high risk. And then tomorrow, the risk on the 21st to 22nd uh, moves into Northeast Nevada on the 21st to 22nd. And then it increases in that area and maybe a 4.0 to 5.0 is possible in Northeast Nevada. And then the risk expands across that area, even over to uh, Salt Lake City in Southern Idaho. And so we could get a 4.0 to 5.0 in Northeast Nevada on the 22nd. You can see back here, it starts increasing and then it increases even larger, 22nd to the 24th. All right, let's go to our Alaska forecast. Pretty quiet across Alaska. 
This was today, and this is where that uh, 4.7 hit down in that moderate risk area there. And then the 90% risk up here in far northwest Canada, otherwise very quiet across Alaska. Quiet here across Alaska again on the 22nd and the 23rd, except for far northern Alaska. And same thing on the 23rd and 24th. So pretty quiet for this forecast period for Alaska, unless you live way up in oil country here in the north, northern part of Alaska. All right, in the Santiago, Chile earthquake forecast, the risk remains across the north for tonight. And then the 21st and the 22nd kind of diminishes here a little bit, southeast of Antofagasta and northeast of Copiapo and then uh, southeast of Santiago, Chile there. And then on the 22nd to 23rd, looks like we get a 5.0 to 5.5 in this region uh, northeast of uh, La Serena and southeast of Antofagasta. So right there, I believe that's Copiapo region. So 5.0 to 5.5 is possible there. And the 23rd and 24th gets kind of quiet across the country of Chile, except for an area here east of La Serena, 70% uh, risk in that area. Over in our Italy forecast, there's some uh, moderate to high risk in uh, east central uh, Italy today into the night. And then the uh, 22nd to the 23rd, moderate risk in the far north, and then a high risk down near Algeria, where a 4.0 is possible. And then the risk increases in northeast Italy, where a 3.5 is in the cost on the 23rd and the 24th, and uh, moderate risk near Tunisia and Algeria. All right, let's go to Japan forecast. Japan forecast, here we go. Still the uh, moderate to high risk across uh, the Iwate region near Aomori in northeast Japan. But down here in the south near Kumamoto, 5.0 to 5.5 is uh, possible in the far south and west part of Japan on the 22nd and 23rd. And then on the 23rd and 24th, that risk moves into the uh, Shimane prefecture over here and then extends over into Shizuoka and south of Tokyo and to Chiba there, 70% risk. The highest risk over is in Shimane Prefecture. All right, that's uh, Japan. The highest risk again is down here in the south uh, on the 22nd and the 23rd. And the Philippines forecast is right here. And the 22nd to the 23rd, Mindoro Island here, we could get a 4.5 to 5.0 off the western coast of Mindoro Island in the next 24 to 36 hours. And then that risk begins to dissipate here, a 60% risk well, uh, northwest of Manila. But the risk is building way in the far south of the uh, Philippines on the 22nd, 23rd, and the 24th. Now here's uh, an interesting forecast again in uh, Greece. We're looking for a significant earthquake, maybe a 5.0 larger in the Thessaly prefecture or province here, uh, northwest of Athens tonight. And then that risk moves down into uh, Rhodes Island and Eastern Crete on the next day, the 21st and the 22nd. And then still a residual amount of energy there on near Rhodes Island and east of Crete on the 22nd to the 23rd, and then it becomes even less on the 23rd and the 24th. So the most significant event looks like tonight near uh, northern Greece, northwest of Athens. So watch for that. And Central America, let's look at Central America here. A slight risk of a 4.0 near Belize, country of Belize tonight. And then the 21st into the 22nd, which is coming up tomorrow, just a moderate risk in northeast uh, Honduras and northern Nicaragua, and a moderate risk down here south of Mexico. And pretty quiet though across Central America, then down here south of Costa Rica and Panama, and down into uh, Colombia, just a moderate to high risk, maybe a 4.0 to 4.5. 
And then on the 23rd and 24th, maybe 4.0 in Guatemala, and that 60% risk there, and maybe a 4.5 off the coast of uh, Costa Rica uh, on the 23rd and the 24th. And down in Peru, we saw that quake that hit in our uh, high risk area here, just east of there. Still a uh, risk tonight in that area, southern Ecuador and northwest of Peru. And then the risk diminishes a little bit, 7% in the northern part of Ecuador and northwest Peru on the 22nd of the 23rd. On the 23rd into the 24th, that risk diminishes even farther to the 65% risk on the 23rd and 24th. So tonight is, uh, I guess, the highest risk across that region in northwest uh, Peru. All right, let's go to Indonesia, Indonesia and Sumatra. And again, a 5.0 is possible off the northwest coast of Indo uh, Sumatra there. And this area in central Sumatra is building. This risk is building here. You can see in the next forecast, on the 22nd to the 23rd, maybe a 6.0 earthquake off the coast of central Sumatra on the 22nd and 23rd. And then that risk diminishes to 70% on the 23rd and the 24th. And in Taiwan, a moderate to high risk across uh, the northern region of the Ryukyu Islands here, and just a uh, moderate risk across uh, Taiwan for the next. Uh, 24 hours, 22nd to the 23rd, the same thing, moderate to high across the north, Ryukyu Islands and uh, moderate risk in the northern part of Taiwan there. Then it gets very quiet on the 23rd and the 24th. Let's look at the Caribbean forecast here. And we had that earthquake down here in uh, the US Virgin Islands. Now the risk is uh, moved over into the Northern Lesser Antilles on the 20th and 21st. And then on the 21st and 22nd, which is tomorrow under the 22nd, this is a very concerning area here in Southwest Dominican Republic and south of uh, Haiti, or Haiti. This here, this could produce a 5.0 in Southwest uh, Dominican Republic during the next 36 hours. And then the risk moves to Puerto Rico and Northeast Puerto Rico where 4.0 to 4.5 is possible there. And then the risk uh, move, uh, moves offshore there to, um, and lessens to about 80% risk on the 23rd and 24th. And it looks like uh, you get a 4.0 down in Venezuela. This is Venezuela here on the 23rd and the 24th. The Seattle, Washington, Oregon, Idaho forecast um, 3.5 is possible uh, tonight in southern Idaho. And then a more significant 4.0 to 5.0 is possible south of Portland, Oregon on um, tomorrow, the 21st into the 22nd. So that'll be interesting to watch that. And then in southern Idaho, this risk begins to build, you can see in the next forecast here, in northeast Nevada and southern Idaho, where we have 4.0. Here's on the 22nd and 23rd, then it expands there on the 23rd and 24th. 4.0 to 5.0 is possible in that region on the 23rd and 24th. All right, our one last forecast here. This is on Turkey uh, forecast in Syria and Cyprus and Iraq. And this one here is in uh, this uh, highest risk here for a 5.0 or larger is in Western Georgia during the next 24 to 36 hour Western Georgia and far Northeast Turkey. And then that risk uh, moves into Eastern Turkey and down into Syria, moderate to high risk. Well, actually that's high risk across there. And a 5.0 is still possible across Georgia and a 4.0 earthquake is possible in Eastern Turkey and Syria during that time. And then the risk diminishes on the 23rd and 24th, the Southern Syria, Central Syria, where 4.0 is possible. But the highest risk is during the next 36 hours in Western Georgia, country of Georgia, not Georgia in the United States. This one's the country of Georgia right here, Northeast uh, Turkey, where 5.0 to 5.5 is likely. Once again, in California, the risk is uh, pretty high now uh, tonight. 
into tomorrow morning across to the salt and sea area. Still could get a 4.0 larger. And then the risk moves up into northeast Nevada. And there it is, you can see it expanding in northeast Nevada by the 23rd and 24th. Looks like it would get a 4.0, 5.0 in northeast Nevada uh, before the risk moves to the south. And I believe we're going to get a very strong earthquake across Southern California uh, coming on the 24th through the 26th sometime, but stay tuned and we'll keep you updated on that. We will uh, keep you informed about all that day by day. Today is Monday. So again, uh, we'll give you another uh, update tomorrow. I think we'll have a better idea tomorrow what that uh, forecast is going to do in Southern California and what a better idea what day that's going to hit on. So thank you very much for watching here at uh, QuakePredictions.com. Again, this is Luke Thomas. Please check out our website at uh, EarthquakeChannel.com or, or QuakePredictions.com and you can see all these maps that we talked about today. And uh, God bless you and stay safe. And we will talk again uh, soon uh, tomorrow night. Thank you, and please tell your friends about our site, and be sure to subscribe at YouTube, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you so much.